Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 29th of 2023 is titled Shakespeare in Space. So what do we see here? Well, what we see is an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, most of our knowledge of the planet Uranus is obtained from the visit from Voyager 2 back in the mid-1980s. That is the only time we have flown a craft out to the planet to actually study it in detail up close. However, we can see it from Earth, and in fact, it was the first planet to be discovered back in the late 1700s as the first new planet to have been found since the five ancient planets known to the uh, to the early astronomers, and of course Earth, which then later became known as a planet. So here we see the planet itself at the center of the center dot there, and we can also see the rings around the planet Uranus. All four of the outer planets have a ring system. Of course, Saturn's are the best known and most prominent, but the rings of Uranus were the second set of rings to be discovered in the outer solar system back in the mid to late 1970s. Now here we see those and we see of course some of the moons as well and the moons the brighter moons the are outermost are labeled and you can see them looking distinctly star like there kind of a bluish color to them and those are the five larger moons Titania, Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel and Miranda and then we can see some of the inner moons very close to the rings as well. Now Uranus is interesting in its naming of its moons in that they are named after, uh, for the most part, Shakespearean characters. Now most objects are named after characters and things from Greek or Roman mythology. And you notice that with a lot of the moons of the other planets is how they have been named. So Uranus is the one exception to that that has maintained over time. Now that doesn't mean that we don't name other features. For example, craters on the moon are named after science, after famous scientists. So there are other exceptions to this, but in terms of the actual objects themselves and not just features on them, this is one of the more unusual namings that has maintained itself over uh, the, over the centuries. And of course, none of these were even known during Shakespearean times. Uh, at that point, even the planet planet Uranus was completely unknown to us, as we had not discovered that until the late 1700s. Now, if you look around this image even deeper, well beyond this, we can see a number of galaxies. And that's because that is the part of the sky that Uranus happened to be passing through when this image was taken. But many of the other objects that are not labeled there as the moons or the planet itself are actually distant galaxies, many hundreds of light, hundreds of millions of light years well beyond the planet, which of course is part of our own solar system. So that was our picture of the day for December 29th of 2023. It was titled Shakespeare in Space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the cold and tired moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.